so you probably clicked on this video to learn how to get good FPS in Arma 3. Well that's exactly what I'm gonna be showing you today. I also hope you enjoyed that intro clip right there. It was from some dank gameplay I got last night. From the looks of it though you guys probably think I'm running this on a very beefy dank system but if you check the description down there you're gonna see my specs. So go ahead pause the video and go check the description right now. So go ahead do what I said and check the description down there. I can assure you 100% that you are going to be surprised at how well the game runs overall with my specs. So if you have similar specs and you are struggling like I was, I'm gonna go through some simple steps that you can go through that are gonna help you get that FPS boost guide you need so you can get to about 40 to 60 FPS consistently and have a much better experience in Arma 3 overall. And so the first step involves going to the Arma 3 graphics notepad and changing some crucial settings right there. Okay so as you can see we are here in the desktop so to find this folder you pretty much need to go to your internet explorer over here go to your documents find Arma the Arma 3 folder double click and then you have to find a file called arma3.cfg you're gonna have to right click on that uh, folder and then press open with and then notepad as you can see over here I actually I already have it opened over here as you can see so here it is so once you get it open with notepad you need to change some settings over here so the first step involves finding a setting called max frames ahead that's gonna be 3 go ahead and change that to 1 as you can see over here then the next setting will be GPU detected frames ahead this is probably gonna be at 3000 if I remember uh, go ahead and change this to 1 um, and then you want to find a setting called refresh which is over here it's on 60 you need to go ahead and change this to 120 then go ahead press on file press save and your job should be done like that very easy and very simple okay so now that you have done the first step let's go ahead and move on to the next step which involves optimizing your Arma 3 graphics settings. Now optimizing your Arma 3 graphics settings is obviously the most important thing you have to do to gain that frame rate you want to get. So uh, this is a CPU dependent game so you're gonna have to turn down some of the CPU dependent options but uh, let's go ahead in the game and I'm gonna show you step by step what uh, you should turn on, turn off, set to high, low, whatever, let's go ahead and jump into the game so we can do this. But before we jump into the actual game, we need to go to the launcher and set some options over here. So find parameters, click on, click on it and find a tab, find the basic tab and over here you need to disable no splash and disable command line parameters. Once you do that, go to the advanced tab, okay so here you need to make sure you do some research on your PC uh, to set these options click on the advanced tab and this is gonna be over here so you need to find how many cores your CPU has and set the cores over there uh, if it has hyper threading enable hyper threading um, X threads you pretty much wanna enable all of these over here no matter what CPU you have and over here this is the memory your RAM so you wanna, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, I don't wanna use all of it while I'm playing Arma, so this is a good amount as you can see over here, I can turn it as much as I want to, but this is a good uh, base over here. And then the max VRAM, the, the VRAM on my graphics card, I have 2 gigabytes of VRAM, so this is a good um, setting to have over here. So you pretty much need to do some research on your PC before you do this and yeah that's pretty much it now let's go ahead and jump into the game so we can edit those settings over there okay so here we are in the game as you can see um, I'm actually gonna move around a little bit so you guys can see the frame rate maybe shoot my gun as well over here and uh, just so you guys can see how the how well the game runs and looks uh, when I play it with these settings and the FPS guide I am using so this isn't a scam at all as you guys can see so okay so here we are 
uh, in the settings so the first setting is the sampling I always like to keep this on 100 if you turn it on 88 the game looks blurry if you turn it on 114 the game looks better but you're losing a lot of a lot of frames so 100 is the way to go for this uh, always keep it on 100 for er for every p PC to be honest and then we have the textures uh, the textures don't really affect your FPS uh, just depends on how many how much VRAM your graphics card has so if you have about 2 gigabytes VRAM you can go ahead and turn this on very high if you have anything more than 2 gigabytes you can go ahead and set it on ultra then we have the objects over here now when I turn it on ultra I really don't see a difference in I'm just losing frame frames when I turn the objects on ultra so I don't recommend setting this on ultra so standard is a better way to go then we have a very important setting over here which is the terrain now if, you, if I put it on ultra it pretty much increases the amount of grass there is on the floor and makes the grass look a little bit better but I really don't care about grass I just want good frames so I like to keep this on super low so then we move on to the shadows now I like to keep the shadows on standard because if I as you can see there's the shadow standard shadow over there if I change it on ultra however ultra shadows as you can see it really doesn't look that different to be honest so I like to keep it on uh, standard because I just get better frames and it pretty much looks like the same thing really isn't any point in setting it more than standard so then we move we move on to the particles I like to keep it on standard so I can get good FPS when I'm shooting my gun or I'm throwing an explosive somewhere so standard is the way to go for this low doesn't really look that good and high you just lose too much FPS so standard is the best choice for me over here then the clouds I like to keep them on high to make the game look realistic if I put it on standard the clouds start looking quite bad and low this they look completely horrible so I don't recommend it so high is the way to go then the PIP over here uh, I like to keep it on standard so I don't lose any FPS when I go to an object that uses PIP next to me and then we come to a very important part of the optimization guide for your settings over here which is the visibility and this is pretty much the rendered distance of your game now overall I like to keep it on 1000 now once you boot the game for the first time the overall visibility should be at about 1500 to 2000 but there really isn't any point to use to use that much render distance because it's not really that helpful and you're never gonna see an enemy from that far away so just put it on 1000 to get an FPS boost so that's pretty much that objects objects I like to keep them on uh, 835 so then the shadows now you're probably wondering why I kept the shadows on 50 uh, I mean the shadows aren't really that useful Do they don't help uh, to find enemies or anything like that so I like to keep them on 50 to keep um, uh, good FPS but if you want you can go ahead and put it on 100 as well but don't go ahead and put it more than 100 there really isn't any point but if you want to get more FPS go ahead and put it on 50 so then we have the HDR now I like to keep this on standard as you can see standard is the maximum choice if I put it on low as you can see the game starts lo losing a lot of contrast that it has so I don't recommend that so I like to keep it on standard and I don't really lose that much FPS when I do this so standard is the way to go then we have the dynamic lights dynamic lights I like to keep them on standard on ultra I'm probably gonna lose a lot of frames so standard is the way to go I could also use high though that's not bad uh, water reflections I like to keep them on standard as well because if I go next to water and I have this on very high I'm gonna lose some frames and on standard whoops and on standard as you can see over here the uh, water still looks quite good to be honest so there really isn't any point to uh, set it more than um, more than high more than standard but you could use high to be honest as well okay so then we move on to the display over here 
I obviously like to keep it in 1080p because 1080p is is the shit. I love 1080p. Everybody loves 1080p. Um, but you could also go ahead and set this to 1680. Uh, 1680 by 1050 now I made some custom resolutions that I'm using for other games But you could go ahead and try some custom resolutions to make the game look good while still uh, getting more FPS uh, 900p would be okay, but anything lower than 900p. I don't really recommend it Okay, so then the v-sync I like to keep it on disabled uh, if I turn the v-sync on then I'm gonna get some horrible lag and when I'm getting frame drops, it's not gonna be smooth at all. Like, let's say if I shoot my gun with the V Sync, it's gonna start being very, very glitchy and laggy. So, I don't recommend it. Disable this. And if you enable it, you're also getting a disadvantage over your enemy. So, go ahead and disable it. So, let's go to the anti aliasing options. Now, the bloom, I like to keep it on 100 because it adds. Uh, it adds a shiny effect to all the lightning effects from the sun for example and the lights in the game and all that stuff so I like to keep it on 100 but you could go ahead and turn it off if you want to so then we have the radial blur ro rotation blur and the depth of field now uh, I have all these settings off because what they do is pretty much uh, just make your game blurry so there really isn't any point in turning them on at all so turn them off completely uh, no matter what what kind of PC you have sharpen filter over here doesn't really affect your FPS it just uh, determines the sharpness of the game as you can see if I put it on 0 the game looks very blurry and if I put it on 100 it looks normal uh, then AO I like to keep it on standard the HBO plus standard because it makes the game look good and realistic and it adds contrast to the places that it needs contrast so then the caustics just enable these really isn't any point to disable them you're not losing any FP you're not gonna get any FPS by disabling them so enable them and then the FSAA now why did I disable this now um, the reason I disabled this is because uh, this is one of the huge FPS hitters in the game so if I put it on 8x as you can see over here my FPS just went to hell look I am getting 2830 um, so yeah, it, it really affects your FPS. Now what it what that does, if you didn't know, it just um, anti-aliases the shit you have over here. So all trees and grass, so it anti-aliases the trees and the grass and makes them more realistic. But I like to disable it because it is a huge FPS hitter and I want the best from my system. So then over here, I like to keep it on FXAA standard. As you can see, if I turn it on CM, AA um, the game really doesn't look that different at all so there really isn't any point at all to keep it uh, on the highest option so in my opinion FXAA standard is pretty much as good as that and you're getting more FPS so there really isn't any point to turn it on anything else than that and then we have this uh, the anti-stropic filtering I like to keep it on ultra if you put it on disabled as you can see the textures start looking quite blurry so what it is is pretty much texture filtering te uh, filtering if you didn't know it doesn't affect the FPS at all so go ahead for any system turn this on ultra we're just gonna make your game look better so yeah that's that so yeah uh, go ahead follow these settings they are very good um, something you, you can use for your preference as I said but mostly these are the, the my favorite settings and the best settings that I can use for my system so uh, yeah that's pretty much that let's move on okay guys so those have been my settings uh, this is actually the ending of the video but there's actually one more thing that you can follow to increase your FPS but it could only work if you have an Nvidia graphics card so I'm gonna leave that step in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and try that as well but this has been the video uh, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like if it also uh, helped you out please tell me in the comments down below and uh, yeah have a great time peace out yeah.